just came up to the barn because we were getting ready to grind corn. And guess what? The sky fell out. And we are not complaining. We have been wanting and needing this. So, this could be a good little soaker. Here's hoping. And it only did that because I left my windows down. <laughs> Seriously, I left my windows down last night in my truck just hoping that it would make it rain. Obviously, I know that didn't make it rain. God made it rain. And I'm thanking him for it right now. <laughs> but, yeah. Got a little wet. This is good. This is good. Okay, it's not letting up. So, we're going to do this. help them but there's not enough room in the back of the shed barn for me to help so I'm going to go to the house and come back in a little bit and tag my son out if he wants wants to be done wow we are getting some major rain we really needed this y'all So that rain that I showed last night, we got an inch. And it looks like we got an inch over all of our farm, which is amazing because the way the rain's been doing lately, it's, you know, it's been hopping and skipping and missing all of our farm completely, but hitting the neighbor's farms. So that is amazing. Hey y'all, it is a very random afternoon, random little idea here. This isn't random, no, this idea is not random, but I just thought I would show something because I like to share things that I cook or that I make that at one point in my life I was telling myself I could not do. And one of those things is slaw. Some of y'all might call it coleslaw. Not cold, but coal, C-O-L-E. And for a long time, I just never made it because it seemed like it was too hard. It's not hard, y'all. Okay, it's not. It's literally, I use like four things. And so we're going to have these little hot dog things for supper because I don't have a lot of time. Hello. This is, this is such a weird afternoon. I found myself at home alone. One kid is at a friend's. One kid is with her dad out spraying on the mule, spraying some fence lines. I didn't have to go, so I stayed home, and I've just been taking care of odds and ends that needed to be done, like dishes and laundry and trash and vacuuming. And now I realized it's time to think about supper. So anyway, this is how I do my slaw. I'd love to hear how you do yours. There's like a million ways people can dress up and make slaw fancy, but I found that sticking to the basics is really good and basically that's what I do. So, here's how I do my slaw. Oh boy, that's not right. There, that's better. I still have big clumps left, so I just take them out and restart. Whoa, what happened? Come back, Jack. Put that in there. This was a very small head of lettuce. I mean, cabbage. They're so easy to confuse, cabbage and lettuce. Okay, so we have a bowl full of cabbage. And then y'all, Duke's mayonnaise. Uh, it, this is just like a thing in the South. Duke's is not paying me. I mean, they could. I would gladly take it. But it's just a thing down here. It's Duke's mayonnaise. It's a staple. It's yummy. It's you. You don't. You don't use mayonnaise. You use Dukes. It's just. It's just what we do down here. So, basically, what? Okay. First, this is a little trick my friend taught me. Put some sugar. I do add sugar. I just put. This is a third. I've got it about a half full. I don't measure. You know that by now. Um, put the sugar on it. I didn't use all that. And then stir it up. 
stir the sugar into the cabbage and then if you have time you can let that sit just the sugar and the cabbage let it sit for a little while and I don't know what it does it marinates it pulls out some of the um, juice there is some juice in cabbage if you know it if you didn't know it um, so I'll let that sit a little bit after I spill half of it and then I'll add my mayonnaise a little salt a little pepper maybe a little celery seed that's it okay I finished off one can jar whatever you want to call this of mayonnaise one thing I found and now I didn't measurement measure it I don't know I don't know how much that is uh, half a cup three quarters cup maybe measurements aren't my thing but um one thing I have found is that oftentimes I feel like I'm not adding enough mayonnaise but then after I start mixing it up especially after the slaw has been sitting a little while I realize that it's plenty so let me finish mixing this up with two hands one hold in the jar god the bowl I can't talk today and then then we'll see where we're at okay and then the only other thing i add is some salt uh once again to taste without tasting pepper i had kind of a lot of pepper and celery seed i had to smell that i don't know why that is a thing that is the thing i do i smell spices before that i use them I mean, other than salt and pepper. I don't know why I do that. Does anybody else do that? So, I'm just going to put a little bit. You don't want to go crazy with the celery celery seed. I've used celery salt before, but I think celery seed is maybe better. It's more of just the flavor. I have made the mistake of making it too salty if I do the celery salt and the regular salt. So... I think we're good. That's all, y'all. That's all, y'all. Slaw. Slaw, y'all. Oh, there's so many ways I could say this. There's a big chunk. I'm going to throw it away. Because we don't need that in our life. Um, yeah. Okay. I drug another thing out way too long. But there you go. How I make slaw. Y'all hungry? Is that good, girls? You know, you really have absolutely no manners. Not at all. I really wish you would learn to eat over your trough. Bugs me. Doesn't bother you though, does it, 24? Good job, 56. We'll get there. Okay, and this is going on. I was gonna come out here and mow since the grass is doing crazy things since it rained. The sky just fell out for a minute with the sun shining. And these two are losing their minds on their splash pad. Um, yeah, she might be a little rough, y'all, a little rough. I'm tempted to jump on that thing. <laughs> There is a definite storm blowing in.
Oh, but we've had fun. Yeah. Here she comes. Okay. Night time. Now that we've got our playing and done, <laughs> we're going to do some shocking. We have a really kind neighbor who is hooking us up with some great vegetables. So we're going to shuck all this corn and I'm going to saute some of it tonight. Mm. And then this one right here loves it on the cob. And we've been having it every night, haven't we? <laughs> so we're going to do something different tonight. Why can't we have corn in the winter? Why can't we have it? Why can't it grow summer, winter, fall, spring? I don't know because things only grow in the summer. So that's why people actually grow it in the summer and then they put it up and they freeze it. But your mommy's not good at that. So. <laughs> like it's a present that you open at Christmas. It is kind of. You open it and then when you get it to it, it's like, wow, I have this to eat tonight for supper. That's, that's right. That's a present. A, that is a present. <laughs> and it tastes so darn good. It does taste so darn good. <laughs> hey, y'all. Yes. Oh, where do I look? Over there. You would think I would know that by now. I know I look like a drowned rat, but I had, an amar I had a marvelous time playing with my children. Worth it. Worth it. Hashtag. Okay. Um, I'm doing some fun things in the kitchen tonight. Some different things. We just took all that corn and I cut a bunch of it off the cob. I'm going to saute it and butter, salt, and pepper in the iron skillet. Sounds like it will be a winner. And I've grated some squash and onion, both which were gifts from friends. And I'm gonna make squash fritters. I've done them, but it's been a long time. So I'm just gonna mix some flour, salt, pepper, and fry them. Can't be bad. <laughs> and then I have fish. I have fish that, so, this is filleted this time. If you saw my other um, video about fish, I've already talked about that once today. Anyway, that same video, I fried fish that we caught and my husband did not exactly fillet them the way I thought they were gonna be done. But this fish is filleted and this is kind of a fun story. So we have this man, his name is Mr. Jimmy. That's what we call him. I mean, his name is Jimmy. And my husband said he's been knowing him his whole life. He lives around here somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where he lives, but he's an elderly gentleman now, but he loves to fish. And so there's this deal where he fishes our pond anytime he wants. He loves to fish, but he does not like to eat fish. He just likes to fish. So he takes the fish. I might have even talked about him in that video. I don't know. I can't even remember what I had for lunch. I don't even think I had lunch. Anyway, he catches a fish. He fillets them for us and brings them to me in these little bags. And he even labels them brim and shell cracker. Is that right? Shell cracker? Anyway, 12 pieces in the date. Is that amazing? I love him. I love him for doing this. And so tonight, instead of frying it, because I'm going to be, my stovetop's going to be full of cast iron. <laughs> I'm going to put them on a baking sheet and broil them. This works good, y'all. I just put some seasoning on them, some olive oil, some butter, and broil them and flip them, and it's pretty delicious. So, that's what's going down here tonight. So, this is all I did to the fish. I put it on the pan, on some foil, I put some garlic, not garlic, olive oil mm. and butter, and then I put some seasoned salt and this adobo seasoning. I really like it on the fish. And I'm just gonna broil it and hope for the best. It usually works. All right, and this is the squash and the onions. And I don't know, I think there's probably maybe two cups. And I've got uh, about a cup of flour. I don't know, I'm just gonna mix it up until it looks right. Consistency. And add some salt and pepper and then fry it. Hmm, hopefully I didn't put too much flour. Okay, and while the oil is heating up for that, I've got butter melted here. I'm gonna put corn in.
sounds good. I actually already put a little salt in this corn and mixed it up with my hand. I mixed it up with my hand. I don't know why I just felt like doing that. And we're just going to let that saute. I'll keep coming back and stirring it a little bit. Fresh corn and squash fritters. Because that's just fun to say. And hopefully it will be fun to eat. We'll see. And this is what we have, y'all. Fish, fritters, corn. And we're going to slice some tomatoes. Not bad. The corn is really good. I haven't even tasted the fritter yet. Come on. Fritter, fritter. Fritter is not bad. The fritter could probably use a little more salt. I don't know though. It's good. It's hot. Here, blow it off and try it. Here. Let us know what you think. Look in the screen. Kind of let it let get the taste in your mouth. It's hot. Hmm. You like it? Yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. This mom will take that as a win. Hey, Bonnie. Look, one lonely fritter sitting on the plate. Because all of its friends done got eight. You're welcome. I'll be here all night. Well, I was going to mow my grass, but some children are doing something else. Okay. I'm going to do a flip. Okay. Please don't hurt yourself. Okay. That was good. Go that thing home, looks very nice. full. Yeah. Woo. Okay. Woo. That was good. <laughs> okay, well, since the kids are playing and I can't mow right now, and I have a million other things I could be doing, I am going to do, to do something that I never think to do until I'm in the process of using it. So, let's see how this goes. Hold on. We're going to try to clean some windows and possibly a steering wheel. Although, I couldn't find any, um, couldn't find any degreaser or gojo. So, we'll see. I know y'all have lots of ideas, but I can't remember what they were. Huh. Okay, maybe this one's on the outside. Duh. a hot day let me tell you that anyway we have clean windows do you see that do you see the reflection in the 4440 it's amazing I'm excited I hope you're excited especially those of y'all who have commented asking me to clean my windows I do listen sometimes I listen to y'all <laughs> and um, I thought I was recording while I was cleaning the steering wheel but evidently I was not because evidently I still don't have the hang of this videoing and YouTube thing Maybe one day I will. Thanks for hanging in there with me. 
what I was showing you though is that I'm pretty sure somebody had told me at one point that you could use rubbing alcohol. So that's the only thing I could find. So that's what I used. And voila, it all came off on the rag. I mean, I think it did. I guess time will tell. We'll find out next week. Hopefully next week we're back in the hay field. Stay tuned for that. Finally gonna get some second cutting action. <sighs> We've had some good rain the past week. Decent rain. My husband would like more, but anything is better than nothing at this point. So we should be raking and rolling very soon. And I'll be sure to bring you along. Take care. And I had some really good help with Clara and Gus. Yeah, that were big help, weren't you? Just kidding. Moral support. And of course, can't forget Bonnie. It's so hot. Let's go find some water. Sound good? <laughs>